comprehensive sampling system for ferroalloys. Ferroalloys forms an essential raw material in steel making and the most commonly used are ferrosilicon and ferromanganese. The alloys are commonly supplied in jumbo bags carried in trucks. Usually about 15 to 20 trucks arrive at a time. Sampling of this raw material for elemental analysis and for determining size fraction is necessary part of quality control function. The InSmart's automated sieving and sample preparation system is highly rated to provide repeat accuracies in sample output and removes the need for a person to carry the sample to the processing unit and putting large quantities of discard samples to the yard. Thus, InSmart's sampling solutions are highly reliable help customers in time saving and provide much faster payback time. The system is made up of two parts the first part for mechanized sample collection and sieving and the second part for automated sample preparation. Both the parts are housed at different locations. The specially designed mechanisms efficiently use electronics and PLC systems and provide higher repeat accuracies. The system consists of collection of small sample quantity with proper aspect ratio, sample division, screen analysis, size reduction from minus 60 mm to minus 100 mesh, and drawal of representative ferroalloy samples of approximately 40 grams. Out of several trucks carrying ferroalloy of a lot, a few trucks are randomly selected, each truck will have 20 bags of 1 ton each. The ferroalloy material is received with the input size of 25 to 50 mm with occasional lumps of maximum 70 mm and some below 25 mm. For sampling the selected trucks are positioned for sampling one by one. To begin with each lot or sublot is registered along with its identity code, truck no, and the date and for proper material identification these registration details remain with the material by means of identity slips attached to the trolleys. Out of each truck, three jumbo bags are picked up at random for sampling purposes. These three bags of one ton each are processed in the system one after the other. Each jumbo bag is lowered by a mobile crane on a receiving hopper where it is punctured by piercing cutter. The received material, approximately one ton, is fed by a vibrating feeder onto the conveyor. A provision for manual sample feeding is also provided. Here small jumbo bags are kept on a table. During sample processing time they are manually punctured and emptied onto the conveyor. The conveyor lifts the material and feeds it through a second vibro feeder into a special sample divider which is programmed to handle one ton of material in about 10 minutes. The sample divider contains a rotating bucket which collects sample at periodic frequency from the falling stream. This sample divider collects about 150 kg of sample for sieving. The discard material from the primary sample divider passes through a secondary sample divider which is aligned directly below the primary sample divider. In the secondary sample divider about 7 to 9 kg material is collected for sample preparation purposes. This quantity is collected directly into a mobile trolley. After all three jumbo bags are processed about 25 to 30 kilograms material is collected in the mobile trolley. The discarded material from both the sample dividers is about 840 kg, which is dumped in discard bin. On processing of all three randomly collected jumbo bags a total of 450 kg of sample is collected and subjected to sieving on the multi-deck vibrating screens. Different size fractions are produced on completion of sieving operation. The individual fractions are separately weighed and recorded by the operator. The operator carries the mobile trolley along with the sample identity slip to the next sample preparation location. The mechanized sample preparation cycle begins with the operator entering the sample registration details in the concerned records. Thereafter the operator feeds the entire 25 to 30 kg of representative sample material into the specially designed slotted conveyor which uniformly feeds the material into the vibrating hopper of the primary jaw crusher. The unique action of tungsten carbide lined jaw blades crushes the sample material to minus 12.5 mm size. The crushed sample falls onto an inbuilt sample divider to obtain a representative sample quantity of 3 kg while the remaining sample is discarded. 
the 3 kg representative sample material is transported by a secondary conveyor into the secondary jaw crusher where it is crushed to minus 5. The sample is further divided in a falling stream sample divider to obtain the desired quantity of about 120 grams. The balance material is again disposed off to the discard material bin. The representative sample of approximately 120 grams is then fed into the vibratory cup mill for pulverizing. The VCM grinds the sample to minus 100 mesh in about 3 minutes. The ground sample is emptied by the operator in a tray and three parts of 40 grams each are prepared by weighment. These separate parts are filled in bottles and labeled by the operator for identification purposes. The first bottle is sent for XRF and carbon sulfur analysis, the second is referee sample and the third is handed over to the supplier. The entire size analysis and sample preparation process can be smoothly performed by a single operator very easily. Here is a graphic representation of the entire process.